Welcome to you, Arthur. Very many happy returns. I can't believe that you're 80. That is phenomenal. And you're still working day in, day out, doing your photography. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm feeling really good, thank you. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, 80, I just think it's a number for me. I mean, I'm, I feel good and, I'm, and I feel ready to still carry on working. So I continue to do so. You, uh, you, you look great for 80. I have to say, what, what moisturiser are you using? I mean, <laughs> you look absolutely fantastic. Well, I, use, I do use a moisturiser. I don't know what it's called. But um, <laughs> I do. Uh, listen, I must tell you, I, uh, I, I, I work hard to look like this. I have to do a lot of exercise and stuff and um, to try and keep fit because, as you, well, you know, you, you need to to do this job because it, it sometimes can be quite tough. And how has it been for you reaching this milestone? Because the thing I love is, you know, you've been doing the job that you've been doing for for years now. You know, you took your royal fo first photograph back in 1975, didn't you? And you've had this lovely yeah. message yeah. from Prince Charles and Camilla, who put out a birthday message for you via the Clarence House yeah. Twitter account. Happy birthday to royal photographer Arthur Edwards. Arthur snapped photos of members of the royal family in 69 countries worldwide. He took his first royal photo in 1975. It was the Prince of Wales feeding sugar lumps to a polo pony. And what a lovely thing for them to put out a message to say that, because I think, you know, you always have this feeling that there's maybe that tension between photographers and the royal family, but they obviously have a great deal of affection for you. Well, it wasn't always like that, I must <laughs> say. In the early days, we, uh, we had our moments and I've uh, had a couple of serious you know, stand-up arguments with the Prince of Wales and uh, he's been uh, uh, made his point very clearly. But over the years, I got to like him and, and got to love Camilla because uh, she's just also a, a lovely person. But, um, you know, I kind of admired what he did, Prince Charles. You know, he's very much a visionary and he's, his work, you know, with sort of trying to save the planet has not just happened. He's been doing it for 25 years. And I've heard him appealing to presidents in Brazil and Malaysia to stop ripping up the rainforest. And, and so... You know, I got to sort of appreciate what he did and I put solar panels on my roof and I drive an electric car and he sort of had a massive influence on me without me knowing it. Aww. So, you know, not only have I enjoyed working with him, he's, I've, I've benefited from, I think. Well, listen, I'm sorry to say we're running out of time. Is there a photo that you haven't yet got? Because you've kind of covered it all, really, haven't you? Well, I would love to have photographed some of Catherine's children, you know. I did, the, obviously, when they were born, but, you know, Catherine's such a brilliant photographer. She, she doesn't need herself. anybody, but, you know... She's done you out of the job, but, hasn't she? Yeah, well, well, she's listen, doing a great job, too. Thank you so much for joining us. Very many happy returns. Happy 80th, happy and we'll birthday. say goodbye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye.